Hello, I'm back. And as always, looking for my knife. Um, as a designer, this is my only tool. It's a single Swiss Army uh, blade knife. Um, I chop my way through countries designing. So we're going to do, as promised, a companion piece to this one, which I just showed you how to do. Again, if you watch that video, I'm going to block in my foam. Look, I just snap it off. I don't even... <laughs> I'm so... I like to keep my life simple, glamorous, and profitable. So did I tell you I love my job? I was thinking when I was coming up here to do this video, I could do this all day long. It's a little dry right there, so when I'm done, I'm going to re-wet my foam. But no, look at how my foam is above the rim. That is so you can do horizontal movements into your piece like that. If you don't have it above the rim, in order to hit the foam, you're going to have to do this, come over the edge, and you're only going to have this much of an arrangement. You need a full radius windshield wiper. This is right out of my classroom. You're getting a free class today. So I have all these leftover materials, not a ton, but enough to do a companion piece to this. Now, a companion piece does not mean it's exactly like that one, but it's similar. So I want to use up all my materials. These are all from Michael's Flower Garden. So as I did on the other video, notice how I can make more stem out of these by cutting, cutting down the leaf. Right there, I'm getting a longer stem. See, I just made a longer stem. Uh, I'm going to make a companion piece. I'm really digging around. That's why a good florist uses up all his scraps. We need a little magnolia in there to match the other piece. There you go. Lower deck, upper deck, crunch house. We taught that in the previous video. I'm scrounging for leaves. When I left my first flower shop called Baumgarten Krieger, was there for 110 years. The boss, a lovely man, said, Michael, I'll tell you one thing. He made money out of my garbage. Why? Because I was always doing this. Oh, what? See it? It's always on the floor. Look what I found on the floor. Some very, real, neat, very needed magnolia leaves. So there's my start. It's a little lopsided, but it's okay. Now, again, realize I don't have a ton of flowers left over. And I want to give a companion piece for like a side table setting at the party. Not I film yet. Uh, so I've got a couple of lilies. How many lilies do I have? Two. I'm going to set these sort of right focal in the middle. I don't have a ton of lilies left over. Like that. How does it look? Like a little baby? Next, I have plenty of leucodendron. We talked about leucodendron. It's called safari. There's another name for it. Uh, very cool. Lots of it around. Kind of a masculine flower. But uh, holds up really well. So we're going to do some... Just like I have here. We're going to match that piece with a little bit of leucodendron. I think safari is a variety of leucodendron. So keep your clocks running. This has taken me, what, two minutes so far? I can design anything in the biggest piece in the world in 20 minutes. My funeral work, all my big sprays, 20 minutes maybe. So if you know what you're doing, now again, I'm going to remind you that I have this vision in my head of what it's going to look like. I didn't just start making this up. I've seen it before. So if you want to be a good designer, you have to constantly be looking at images of flower arrangements that are out there. Look at good sites, not ugly flower arrangements. And then you have this dictionary in your head and it comes out of your fingertips one day. Like magic. Also, I'm only putting these in about that far into the foam. Do not go dig your foam oil. Um, I also have a few of those lovely black berries left over from this design. See, right there. So this would be a small companion piece. To the mother load right there. I'm going to add a few black berries in there. These really do nice. Hypericum berries. So, coming along, what else do I have? I have ooh, some heather. Remember we collared around the base? But this time I'm going to switch it up for the companion piece. I'm going to put the heather on top in the upper deck. I'm going to put some in the lower deck. This is easily $150, $200 worth of designs minus your container. So with your container, it's about $250 worth of 
arrangements. These are not cheap, and I did it all with about eighty-five dollars worth of flowers from uh, Michael's Flower Garden, plus the Azure containers, and a couple two dollars for the foam. So Michael's Flower Farm, I own it. Uh, you get the greatest flowers shipped from the finest farms and wholesalers in California. Um, no, we don't go to Ecuador and, and other foreign countries to get our flowers. Why? They have great product down there. I spent a lot of time in Ecuador, but you are spending four to five days shipping it here. You don't want that. We're FedExing everything overnight. When you FedEx overnight, um, you get perfect flowers all the time. What else do I have left? I found a little grambilia laying around. So again, we don't have to match the, the piece, this piece, but we want to complement it. So I'm gonna add a little grambilia just to plug some holes, a few minor holes that I have left. And it will be off to the party. So when the, your hostess receives these, she'll obviously know they're for the same party. The major piece and the companion piece. Um, flower designing is so easy. Um, I, let me teach you how to do it. Um, I want the whole world how to do perfect flowers. It's so relaxing. It's so, even I can do it. I'm considered a master. Well, I guess after almost 30 years of studying it, you could call me that. Um, but people think I'm a master flower designer. I say, well, if you've done a million of them, yeah, it gets easy. But it was easy the first day I started. So let me show you how. It's following basic math and science. No, you don't just start throwing flowers together in a vase and hoping it turns out. You have to follow my rules of design and principles. Um, go to uh, the ultimate online flower class.com. Go to um, flowerschool101.com. You can order a single class or you can order the whole program and learn everything from wedding to funeral work. And it's about as simple as this one was. So go back, and you don't have to have the exact same flowers to do what I just did, but copy how I approach the design. Lower deck, upper deck, penthouse. It works every time. I don't know which one, I kind of like this grobillion, this little one. Uh, it's my new favorite thing. Looks like this, close up grobillion. I'll give you a close-up on this little companion piece. My cameraman's not here today, so I'm doing all my camera work alone. There it is, a cute little sweet little urn. Tilted at the camera. See the grevillea has a nice little, a nice little touch. It's minus 14 degrees here today. I'm in Wisconsin. I'm going to LA in a few days. I'll be teaching more from LA. But um, it's so nice to be inside in this beautiful house. Uh, designing flowers. So now I adjust a little bit, get rid of some of the garbage. So online, ultimate online floral classes or Michael's Flower Garden, just to order your flowers. When you order your flowers from Michael's Flower Garden, by the way, I send a second bouquet to somebody in a nursing home or assisted living facility. Why? Because that's my thing. Um, one time I sent uh, flowers for after Valentine's, oh, I forgot my little china grass. This, I'll leave it all, this one will only have china grass, this one won't. There's your, there's your main piece and your companion piece, obviously for the same, destined for the same party. Um, let me tell you a few things. Yes, I send a second bouquet on your behalf when you order from Michael's Flower Garden to an assisted living or nursing home. Because one time I did that and they, they went madness, mad with happiness and tears. Uh, I realized they're my greatest customers, my most appreciative customers. I mean, we were giving them a single rose after Valentine's Day and they thought I'd given them another 50 years. I couldn't believe it. I really, I couldn't believe it. It was secondary to handing a bride her bouquet on Saturday when she goes, oh, oh my God, so beautiful. Um, those are the two highlights of my career. Handing bride flowers, the favorite part of my job, or taking flowers to assisted living. So every time you order a bouquet from Michael's Flower Garden, I take another bouquet to somebody at a nursing home on your behalf um, who needs a little sunshine, a little flower power. Uh, so go to Michael's Flower Garden and order your flowers today. It's the only way to go. Overnight, inexpensive, gorgeous, perfect flowers that'll last you two to three weeks. Um, what else are you saying? I was going to talk about something else. Um, I know these flowers will be on this table two weeks from now, easily. Um, I'm going to put a little, add a little water every once in a while, put a couple drops of bleach in it. I'm going to spray it with my secret sauce that comes in every box of Michael's Flower Garden, like that. And you two will have perfect flowers. I also have an all new uh, Design Your Wedding uh, course coming out. Uh, it's $4.95 for the course. It includes the videos, an uh, ID card to go get your flowers wholesale, or I can ship it to you. Trust me, if you watch this course and you do your own wedding, you'll save thousands on your own wedding. 
or if you're a business, if you're going into the business of doing weddings, just by me teaching you how to price properly, it'll save you a hundred thousand dollars. You'll make an extra hundred thousand dollars for the next ten years of your career because nobody prices correctly. Not me. Because remember, I started on Wall Street, and then I went and drove a truck for a flower shop, and here I am with fifteen schools around the country and three books. So I'm still a bottom line guy. You got to make money doing flowers. Otherwise, you're working for not. You're tired all the time. No, make money and smile and be happy. Uh, I'm the flower man. They call me the flower professor. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to do a few more videos on this cold, wintry day in Wisconsin. Um, and keep blooming.